it's um, five o'clock on uh, Saturday the 8th of October. Uh, just had a decent sleep in the car and uh, just to get up now, get myself dressed and ready. And the bus leaves at quarter six to take us up back up to the start at Colbeck and um, to run the Lakes in a Day Ultra. So really looking forward to this. Good registration last night. I met James Thurlow and, if, and uh, one or two other people. I'm going to do some clips during the day so you can follow my journey of running the Lakes in a Day Ultra. <music> to eight getting ready for lakes in the day ultra oh yes here we go and here's my no no there's a video and here's andy hi so, john are you looking forward to the race today andy oh definitely are lovely you, day okay you've done this before haven't you yeah a couple of times okay so two top tips for me okay what would you um say? Uh, fill up with water at grisdale tarn okay right okay because uh, it's the only place between um grisdale um thrill yeah. cold and ambleside right yeah yeah. Um, and uh, watch your navigation on the last bit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good. Well, have a great have race. Have a great one. Yes, <laughs> enjoy yourself. going for 57 minutes and 3.66 miles just been over uh, high peak and just heading down now on the path and then we'll sort of be heading up across a couple of rivers heading up to Blencathra beautiful day so far looks a nice clear uh, sky and uh, looking forward to the rest of the route I reckon there's about uh, 80 people ahead of me. Uh, tried to get an estimation when we came up the hill. So it'll be interesting to see how many I can catch over the next uh, few months. Here we are, coming up to the top of Blencathra. Been going for uh, 8.4 miles, two hours 16. <coughs> so it's been pretty good but it's just misty just on the very top here of uh, Blencathra so now we've got the descent down to Thelkeld this is where I fell so I'm gonna make sure I take it nice and steady don't do anything silly on the way down <laughs> Head uh, had a great run down from Blencathra. Dave was there at Thelkel, so it's good to see him, get some encouragement there. And been going now for 13.73 miles, uh, five hours sorry, three hours 51 52, and just about to reach the top of uh, Clough Head. From here, it's uh, basically a, a good plateau run. Dave was saying, I've not done this bit, but it's a lovely runnable bit now. And then a climb up to Helvellyn, 
but I think that was the toughest climb up Clough Head there. I used my poles and I went past about uh, eight or nine people. I uh, went past a lot of people on the way up Blencathra as well. So I feel as though I'm moving well in relation to the field. Still a glorious day. Got, I'm glad I got my visor on, keep the sun in my eyes. And certainly, certainly going well so far. <laughs> Had a really good long section there from Clough Head. Um, it's a lovely run over the ridge. Um, made one or two slight mistakes, I think. I went a couple, high a couple of times, but um, I think overall I've been still catching people. Been going now for 19.85 miles, five hours 27. Just been over Helvellyn, so we're just uh, making our way up this little bit and then down to Grasdale Tarn. And then there's one more climb up to Fairfield and then the long descent down into Ambleside. I've just got a tiny bit of water left, which should make, should um, be enough for this next couple of miles. And then I'm going to refill at the tarn. Uh, like Andy suggested there's a, a, a pipe there at the tarn that you can refill. Uh, still a glorious day. Great views. Amazing what you can see. Such a beautiful, beautiful place. So, still going well, still running strong. Feel as though I'm holding my own in my place and still catching people. So, all good. Just done the last big climb really up to Fairfield. So, I've been going now six hours 28. 22.81 miles so I think we've got about just over four miles down into Ambleside and then um, basically the whole length of Windermere and a bit more and ending up in Cartmel so it does feel as though um, we've done main climbs now obviously there's going to be some ups and downs but the main big ones are over so I'll put my poles away hopefully I won't need to get those out again it's still a glorious glorious day and um, you can see Windermere ahead so that's where we'll be soon and we'll be running down the length of Windermere been now going for 10 hours and 4 minutes 38.93 miles and uh, had a good long run down from Fairfield into Ambleside I stopped there for 10 minutes in the end because my feet got really boggy and wet just the last little bit into Ambleside so I decided to change my shoes which was a great idea my feet are nice and cosy now with new socks and uh, dry shoes and I've been running with and Alex for quite a bit he went past me coming out of Ambleside and then I slowly caught him um, and then about the last hour we've been running together and two of the guys but I think we've dropped them at the moment but they might catch again uh, quite a bit on the road this section quite a bit on cycle paths and trails but lots of lots of running it was a long uphill as well uh, nothing hard but just not runnable and it's walking up now on this hill um, I think it's about three four miles possibly to the next checkpoint and then I think about at uh, seven from there. So I think we're just over about 11 miles to go. Good morning, it's now um, uh, just on nine o'clock on Sunday morning and then just doing this quick uh, update on my race <coughs> it got pretty dark obviously after that last video clip so it was difficult to uh, do any more clips and i was pushing as hard as i could to finish as fast as i could i finished there uh, 30 second in nine uh, 13 hours nine minutes and six seconds so just outside my gold medal goal but it's funny because i knew i wasn't going to make sub 13 but i knew i probably i was going to make the subs 13 and a half so I decided to try and uh, get as close to my gold uh, as I could. So I wanted to be under 13, 15, which is what I made. So I was pretty pleased. 
and it was a great event really really enjoyed it obviously the weather helped perfect day blue skies and sea for miles so that was great and then um, got in had a, uh, it was a really well organized event so got into the school and um, the order of things I had a shower first and then I had a massage there were some students from um, Cumbria University who are doing a sport rehab course so they worked on my legs and it was great and then I had a lovely uh, baked potato with cheese and beans uh, chatted for quite a few folks uh, so Andy Cole came in at uh, just after 11 o'clock so he was just on um, 15 hours so he was pretty happy and um, went to bed slept a little bit those but uh, to be honest about four o'clock I was near the loo so I got up and then um, had uh, and just sat around chatting to people people were still coming in right until seven o'clock in the morning 23 hours so it was a pretty tough day for them but a great event which i really really enjoyed <music>